What's going on guys? My name is Tim Russwick and today we're talking about something that I know is probably going to be controversial. Probably going to get me in trouble. People are probably going to have a little bit to say about this, but I have an opinion and I want to share it because I think it's important uh, for you guys to kind of understand where I'm coming from. And, and I talk about a lot of stuff that can help kind of improve you as a person. And I think it wouldn't make sense if we didn't talk about money, right? So I think money makes you happy. Now, that statement on, on its own can be taken a lot of different ways. So if you're going to comment or you're going to have something to say, please listen to the rest of the video because I'm going to explain my point of view on it. I'm going to kind of talk about how uh, it's affected my life and kind of how it's it works, right? So I did not grow up uh, financially well off at all. Um, we were very poor. You know, we lived in a housing development. Um, we got uh, assistance for living food stamps, the whole deal. Um, we, you know, we lived in LA for a little bit and we just, you know, a lot of it was my, my parents were, um, they had a nonprofit. So, um, they had generated some of their income off of that, just helping people. And they really believed in kind of, um, you know, putting other people before them. And, you know, we kind of lived the example of that. So I know what it's like to have, not have any money. And I can tell you that not having money can destroy your life not having enough money to survive always worrying about money uh growing up my parents were fighting constantly over money uh money was a huge part of my upbringing like it was just something that stressed out like i can totally get it too like if my mom is worried about feeding us i have a brother and a sister all three of us um you know of course it's going to cause stress of course it's going to cause panic and anxiety um you know, so just basic being able to pay the bills every month, paying f paying for food and stuff, that is a miserable existence, not knowing where that money's going to come from. And um, my dad has a disability, and um, m you know, neither one of them really ever had a traditional job, so it was a lot of times like they w they did all kinds of different things, odd jobs and weird stuff. And you know, that's you know, that's on them too if they were really dedicated to it i'm sure they could uh pull it off but it was always a struggle growing up like it was always miserable and like it wasn't always miserable like we made the best of it and i i think i had a fantastic childhood i grew up with people that loved me and you know that's <laughs> that's all you need really but it's not to say money didn't cause problems right or the lack of money therefore and when i when i branched out on my own you know, I was given a lot of opportunities that I kind of seized and, you know, I didn't have money for a while. Um, so I lived on, you know, I've lived, I've been almost homeless. I've been, you know, I've lived in my car. I've lived in tents uh, for periods of time. Um, I've like, I've been, I've been on that end of the spectrum, right? So I can tell you that when you are worried about where your next meal is going to come from, you're worried about how you're going to feed your animals or your children. I, I don't know because I don't have any children, but I would assume it's probably worse than worrying about feeding your animals because uh, I've definitely done that. Like I've had to choose between feeding myself or my dog. Um, I can tell you that's a miserable existence. So for someone to say money does not make you happy, I think is not necessarily true. Because when I got to a point in my life where I could pay my bills and I could uh, focus on things where I could I could go to a store and I could buy something or I could go grocery shopping or whatever and I could give them my debit card and I didn't have to worry about whether or not I was going to overdraft. Like when I got to that point, oh, dude, it was just like a different level of existence. It was just like I had succeeded in life. And that's that wasn't a whole lot of money, right? That was, it, it was not a lot of money at all. Um, especially coming from like, you know, like I've survived on like $200 a month <laughs> before. Uh, so like, you know, getting to the point where I could just use my debit card and not worry about like overdrafting. Um, it allowed me to focus on other things. It freed up a lot of mental horsepower. It freed up a ton of like, just like energy that was being depleted constantly worrying about money where am i going to eat where am i going to do this how's this going to work um not only that but like i would have people hit me up for money too so like we'd all be broke together and then people would hit me up and want to borrow money and you know in a broke family that's 
that's never fun. So I think money does make you happy. It it allows you to free your mind from the slavery of having to constantly like the mental slavery of having to constantly worry about w how you're going to exist next month. Um, and you know, like I've never really, like, I've always been very entrepreneurial minded. Like I've always had that kind of DNA. So traditional job really wasn't my thing either. Like I always wanted to start a company. I always want to mess with stuff. And that's a whole nother deal, right? Because like there's all kinds of risks and shit in that, in that life by themselves, right? So having lived through that and getting to that place where, okay, I don't have to worry about my debit card uh, anymore, overdrafting. Like I don't have to do mathematical, mathematical calculations in my head. I, you know, at, it was a big step for me and it definitely increased my happiness, not by itself, right? Because if you're a miserable person and something less miserable happens to you, I don't think you're automatically going to get happy. But I think the fact that it allowed me to free my mind off of worrying about that stuff and just like existing allowed me to exist at a baseline, right? And then I could work on the things that improve my life, that made me happier. Um, so I think it indirectly makes you happy. That being said, though, I've also lived on the other end of the spectrum. So I've lived off of $200 a month, but I've also made $8,000 a day. I've lived in tents, but, you know, I've also, you know, had a fucking loft downtown that was awesome um i i've lived on both spectrums and i can tell you um having the, the more money you have the less it affects your happiness in fact i feel like on the higher end it actually made me more miserable because it made me worried about more things um the more money meant uh, more hiring clients, which I was more anxious in pleasing. Uh, it made me more, you know, I would m worry about stuff more. If something went wrong, it would terrify me. Um, I had more money to lose. I had people hit me up for money uh, often in my family. Um, and that would always cause stress and anxiety. I had um, it just it, not only that, but and coupled with my own issues, like I had feelings of insecurity, feelings of like not deserving that money, and like something was going to happen to to get it taken away from me. Uh, but also, I I felt compelled to just buy useless shit, and like it just it wasn't. I don't think it was healthy for me. I actually think it it kind of it was like a curve, right? Like super broke. Uh, halfway decent income, okay, I'm kind of happy, then, like, made more money, it just went, kind of went back down. So, <sighs> this is kind of hard saying it on camera, because I'm literally, like, thinking through this and trying to explain, like, how, how I felt, but, like, on the high end, I don't think it improved my life. Um, if I were to choose whether improved or, uh, whatever the opposite of improve is, just, not destroy, whatever that word is, uh, I actually think my, my quality of life went down at that point. Um, so one of the things that I did at least, because in addition to that too, once I, once I got past that point where I was super comfortable, um, a lot of my drive was eliminated because a lot of my personal drive was always from like, where am I going to eat next week? Yo, <laughs> like I got to fucking make money because I'm not gonna be able to eat next week. I'm not gonna be able to pay rent. I'm gonna be homeless. Like, let's go. Let's do this. Let's make money. Let's make it happen. And when that got eliminated, like, let's say I had a couple months worth of expenses in the bank or something like that, um, my drive kind of went away. Like, I don't, I don't really need to land clients. I really don't need to go through that anxiety process of talking to people and and trying to convince them to to go with me. I don't really need to do that because I'm kind of comfortable right now. And so uh, I talked about this in videos in the past, but my income usually would end up going like this. Like it would go down. Uh, I would get super desperate. I got to pay the rent next month. Shit. It would go up. I get super comfortable. I don't got to do shit. It went down. And that was a whole cycle that would just continue on. And um, so I feel like money does make you happy up until a certain point. And I've, I've read studies on this actually to kind of back up what I was saying and um, there's been studies where that have shown the same thing. Like up, I, I believe the study they did was like up till $60,000 a year. 
Uh, money does tend to make people happier. They report that they're happier. Uh, but after that, it, it doesn't seem to do so. And, and larger and larger amounts of money are required to even make a bump in the scale um, as you keep going up the chain. So um, I would agree with that just based on my personal experience. And I think that's, you know, that's totally how it is. So with that being said, um, I have not charged for any of my games in the past, like any of my mobile games and stuff. Um, but I do advocate that you try and make money with your games. I think that's a good thing. I don't think money is evil. I, I'm down for everybody making a living with their games. And it's something, looking back on it, that I think I've been a little afraid to do, to be honest, if I'm just being completely honest, because, like, I've had a bad relationship with money. Like, money has actually destroyed relationships in my life before. It's actually... It's complicated a lot of things, and I think maybe in hindsight, I was a little bit afraid to charge for some stuff or, or to generate cash off some stuff. So it's something that I definitely plan on doing in 2018, uh, starting with Final Phobia, of course, uh, which is coming out soon, um, and then possibly remonetizing the rest of my mobile games, possibly uh, working on another commercial project. So it's something that I encourage you to do. I'm going to follow my own advice and kind of do that as well because I feel like it's, it's just... It's not something that you should be afraid of. You shouldn't be afraid of selling out or, or anything like that. Like, it needs to be done. But I think money gets complicated after you've got your bills paid, right? And um, I wouldn't let that stop you, though. I think there are plenty of different ways. Like, you can reinvest it. You can hire people. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. And you can keep it going. And, that, and that's what I ended up doing with my marketing company, too. Like, I ended up having to just reinvest in the company over and over again. Uh, to keep myself in that hungry state of uh, of wanting to like get shit done, and uh, I plan on doing the same thing with my game business, right? Like I'm as I'm building this slowly, as I'm building up a portfolio of games, as I'm building up uh, an audience with uh, with my games, like I'm planning on doing more of that because I feel like I want to get to the point where it supports me, and I think that everybody should. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, and I think it will make you happy if you can do what you love and pay your bills with it. Uh, beyond that, it gets a little complicated, you know, but I still think it's better if you can make money doing something you love than doing something you hate, right? So those are my thoughts. Um, complicated subject. I know it's going to piss some people off, but it's what I think and I wanted to share it with you guys. If you have comments on this, like I'm legit interested in what you think because this is just my experience, right? I want to know what you think. Um, have you ever had experiences where money made you happy like just be real and then have you ever had experience where money maybe did the opposite um i would love to hear from other people because this is one of those things where like i feel like it's deeply personal to me and i'm not sure if other people feel the same way so you know if you do or you don't please let me know because i i legit want to know but that's all i got for you today i hope you found it useful once again my name is tim roswick and i will see you tomorrow